address you guys as uh, our guests. It's an honor and a privilege uh, to stand here uh, with, the with this opportunity, uh, a tremendous one, to be an example to everyone here of what it is to be uh, what I know to be called a kingdom man. Honoring God with our relationship and positioning myself directly under God's will, allowing for total protection and provision for our relationship and for our family. Arlene, I vow to respect you as you deserve to be respected and to honor our relationship as my priority. I vow to love you with all that I am every day, forever. I vow to hold you when you need to be held and to laugh with you when you need to smile and to cry with you when well, you don't really cry much, so I'll just cry for you. <laughs> She wasn't supposed to be crying when I said that line. I'm glad he says that. I vow to work tirelessly on our relationship, learning and understanding you more and more forever. Vivica, Tyler, Brianna, and Emma. I also vow to you to be the best example I could possibly be of what a man, a husband, and a father should be, and to honor you and to respect you as our children. It wasn't easy getting here, and I don't expect anything to come easy, knowing that things that come easily in life usually aren't worth much. They require little sacrifice and, and therefore don't really mean much. I fully expect difficulties and challenges, but I vow to never leave your side no matter what we come against. I love you, I mean, today more than ever, but never as much as I will tomorrow. I loved you from the beginning, Chris. Before I even knew I loved you. Since the kiss you tried to steal. And forever since then. I always knew you were special. The kind of person who puts everybody ahead of himself. And even when times have been hardest, you've proven over and over you won't give up on us. Today I want you to know I won't give up on us. From this moment on, I thought it'd be completely yours to love, honor, and respect you always. Not only in the good times, but especially in the bad. Today, I choose you to be my forever and always. You know what it means, but I want to I want to remind you that we live under a covenant with God. This covenant was ratified by the shed blood of Jesus Christ at Calvary. Now we have something new that has never existed before. We're doing it together as hundreds.
with each of you, uh, when each of you was born again, you became a new creation in Christ. Together you become a new creature to, together in Christ because you are now one. When you agree on things, they will come to pass. You have an awesome power at your disposal now. You are going to notice a new realm of your life beginning because of the spiritual law that says you can put one, can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. From this time forward, your everyday life will be 10,000 times more powerful spiritually than it ever was before. It is important that in these first moments together, you honor the Lord by honoring his table. Jesus said, this is my body broken for you. 1 Corinthians 11 and 24, you can eat the bread. His precious body bore our sickness and carried disease. Together in the name of Jesus Christ, you have given God, uh, you have the God-given faith and power to ward off sickness, disease, the storms of life, and everything that hell could try to bring against your marriage. Through his broken body, you have received into you as the power of the Almighty God. You get that, right? Jesus said, this is my blood that ratifies the covenant. Drink of my blood. As often as you drink of it, do it in remembrance of me. You can drink. As we drink tonight, I want you to remember that what he has, what he's done for you. I want you to remember that the covenant that he made available to you, the power that he's made yours. Amen. All right. We can. We're gonna get ready to. Uh, uh, I just want to say. I just want to say something real quick. If that's okay with you guys, I want to bless the evening and, and you know, we kiss the bad and all that stuff. But not we kiss the bad. Amen. <laughs> That would be weird. She's my sister. That's fine. Um, let me read you the scriptures real quick. Let's just speak by the same before it's in the 